Well, if flat Earth has its own sun, then what would happen to the solar system if I blew it up? Like, if, if I just took a little shot at it, it doesn't need to be a whole lot, just enough to... Send it on its way? Wait, what? <laughs> Do you think it's coming back? Probably not. I, I didn't think I'd be able to piss it off enough for it to throw up deuces and leave. It's not every day that a sun just dips. All right, I, I suppose I now have a flat earth in eternal darkness. <laughs> the only thing worse than delusional mouth breathers are delusional mouth breathers who can't see where they're going. What's up guys, welcome back to Solar Smash, that game where the people of Earth here have decided that they're the ones who get to say who is and isn't a planet. One minute they're letting Pluto in, the next they're yeeting him right back out, which is a real shame, he was one of my favorites, right after Uranus. But now there are apparently secret planets out there, and as a fellow human, I feel the need to find them and see whether or not they're worthy of joining the club. Now, some of you guys may remember the last episode, we found that if you use the new Fancy Pants Freeze Ray to create a bit of an Earthsicle, then that should go and unlock us Planet Snowman. Which I'm having a bit of a hard time considering a planet. It's a little wonky, so I don't think I'm going to welcome it. If we won't let Pluto in, we're not letting this thing in. And I also don't really think it's a snowman. Because we found out that it's very little snow and ice. Mostly rock and really hard to destroy. Fortunately, you guys gave me some advice in the comments, which I'm going to mercilessly try now. I really liked the idea of throwing moons at it, because we have no idea what the scale of this thing is. Like, it, it could be the size of Australia, it could be the size of the sun, there's no telling. But if we throw a moon, then we'll know for sure. Assuming that this is gonna be the moon, in some cases I've thrown Earth. I was kinda hoping for Earth to be perfectly honest, but ooh, yeah, definitely built that one. You guys wanted moons, so we're going for plural. I, I kind of wish I could throw any planet I want. You know, let me choose. If I want to throw Jupiter at this thing, then I should be able to. Or let me throw Pluto. If you're not going to consider it a planet, then at least consider it ammo. Yeah, that really worked a number on the guy, didn't it? <laughs> Doesn't matter what you're made of. Somebody throws a moon at you and you better get the hell out of the way. I'm not breaking any laws here, am I? Like, would mooning a snowman be considered intergalactic indecent exposure? Maybe only if you open your hole? Oops, ooh, there we go. Okay, yep, there are some holes for you. Whole bunch of holes. Yeah, he's not gonna easily smile that one off. But again, there's so much of him left. It's genuinely terrifying how big this thing is. It's like three planets stacked on top of one another, but they're as dense as a moon. So even five black holes could only eat half the thickness. Speaking of thickness, I saw in the solar weather report this morning that we're expecting a bit of a storm on Uranus, so you may want to watch out for that. <laughs> there we go, I dare say you'll feel that. Well, we got his luscious space dumper, but Again, not complete and total destruction. Like, I don't want to seem underwhelmed here, but at the same time, one of those storms alone would level Earth. Like, just leave it in molten ash, but the snowman stands. You can see why this thing pisses me off so much. I wish it had a giant magic hat I could knock off and watch it melt. Come to think of it, melting might quite literally be the only way of going about this. And we'll make it a green melting ray so that it's kind of festive, I suppose. Was that your last wish? I would imagine your last wish was not to melt in outer space, but here we are. Even then, it takes a while. You know, a lot of time and dedication goes into slimming down this beach body. Quite literally, I would imagine this is what a snowman would look like on the beach. What's wrong, Big Frosty? Is it getting a little bit too warm close to that sun? There you go. Well, the thickness is taken care of. I'm wondering if we can leave him with just a face. Just a smiling, floating face in space. I might need to turn the laser back down, though. It's currently on lawn mower setting, but we don't want that for surgery. We'll, we'll go down to a two again. Something like uh, this. There we go. Now we're getting places. 
I'll be the first to admit, it's not my finest work, but it should act as a good message to the rest of the solar system. You're either a planet or you're nothing at all. I'm gonna assume that you unlock all of the secret planets by doing terrible, terrible things to Earth. And one thing comes to mind, but we might need to change this laser again. Like, if five is lawnmower setting and two is scalpel setting, then we might wanna be like somewhere around a four, maybe? Four blue? Yeah, I'll go for something like that. <laughs> because we need barber settings. Maybe we could take just a little bit off the top. Just a touch, don't worry, it looks perfectly fine. There's a reason I don't have a giant mirror in space. <laughs> Do you think Guinness has a record for the most bad haircuts delivered at once? Judging by the look on the planet's face, it's none too pleased with what I've done so far, but the atmosphere is still there, that's what matters. We're gonna need that once we flatten things out a little bit. <laughs> we also need to slim down that dumpy. Everything is gonna be fine. Was that the center? Am I a little bit off center? Am I cross-eyed here? No, it, it's fine, it's fine, okay? <laughs> this is what you wanna hear a barber yelling at you. It's fine, it's fine, everything is gonna be okay. I can salvage this. Just let me work, damn it. Now, if you've never seen Solar Smash before, you're probably thinking that I just wiped out all of humanity and turned Earth into some kind of lava turd while making barber jokes for no reason. But it is, in fact, more of a burnt burrito bowl. The point is, it's flat, and that's very important, because when we restart, we should... crash the universe and then get ourselves flat Earth. Oh, yeah, what the hell? That was far from the first time we've had the glorious, paranoia-fueled stupidity of Flat Earth crash all of existence. But things have changed since we were here last. Now, not only does it have its own moon, but also its own sun orbiting around it. And the sun is the same size as the moon? It, it's just too perfect, I love it. And clearly, I'm not letting these lunatics into the club. Are you kidding me? I have enough delusional people in the solar system as it is. How are we gonna blow this up? Well, if Flat Earth has its own sun, then what would happen to the solar system if I blew it up? Like, if, if I just took a little shot at it, it doesn't need to be a whole lot, just enough to... send it on its way? Wait, what? <laughs> Do you think it's coming back? Probably not. I, I didn't think I'd be able to piss it off enough for it to throw up deuces and leave. It's not every day that a sun just dips. All right, I, I suppose I now have a flat earth in eternal darkness. <laughs> the only thing worse than delusional mouth breathers are delusional mouth breathers who can't see where they're going. Do you think I could turn the moon into a new sun? I heated it up, but apparently flat Earth gravity isn't enough to make anything work. Who would have guessed? So the moon is gone. Say hi to the sun if you see him. Well, they've got the lights on and the heat cranked up for now, but I think it's safe to say I don't really need to use the freeze ray. It's only a matter of time before we get a flatsicle. <laughs> that being said, I kind of want to see what happens if I freeze the inside of a planet. I've tried to freeze the core before, but it, it's a little tricky to get in there. Whereas with Flat Earth, it's just got everything out on display. It's hard to tell whether or not this is gonna screw things up though, because like, science and common sense doesn't apply here. Now that is one evenly frozen underside. So how did the top bear? Not too bad actually. All things considering, you know, with the sun gone and stuff, the walls around the outside that were holding the oceans in, apparently, have expanded a bit. But overall, most of the land seems fine. We only lost 193 million people. There's still 307 million left. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know this isn't like really slapstick kind of funny, but I can't believe that there are people who genuinely believe in this, who think this is their reality. I, I know there's like billions of people on this planet that believe in white Jesus, so anything is possible, but it's just astonishing. 
I'm gonna take pity on the stupid and turn my heat laser down as low as it can go so that I can try to thaw things out just a touch. We'll start with the ice walls. I don't think the oceans are going anywhere considering they're solid right now. This is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll crank things up just a touch. How about that? Any better? Oh, that might be a little too much. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? It's fine. I dare say they would like to have lava walls instead of ice walls now. Sure, the ocean is just going to evaporate once it hits and then go rain over the land. That's science. I really need to see if Hot Pockets and shitty microwaves would be willing to team up and sponsor an episode of Solar Smash because I've got the perfect pitch. You know, it's burnt on the outside, it's frozen on the inside, and definitely not pizza. Bringing the sun in closer and making it small adds so many possibilities to screw things up. Like, my mind is racing right now, but I really want to see if I can play Space Pool. If I manage to poke the sun when it's lining up with the moon, then would I be able to have the two collide? Oh my god, it was so close! <laughs> I'm willing to bet the moon is real warm right now, and then cold with everything else. Okay, re-rack, I'm gonna make this work. After missing another couple dozen times, it dawned on me there's an unintentional sun joke. That this isn't actually like pool. I need to shoot where the moon is gonna be, not where it is. You don't need to worry about the eight ball moving, but in this case, if I do something like that, then we might be right on the money. Yes! Wait, what? It absolutely did just consume the moon! It, I thought it was gonna glow up and explode, but it just shook it off! Oh, what a bummer. Okay, you know what? Screw you, Moon. I'm gonna blow you up. Anyway, where are you going? No, 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 no. Get, get back here. You don't get to quit. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> These little tiny orbiting bodies are pissing me off. Wait, 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 wait. I completely forgot that I can change perspective. So I don't need to fire these things off into space. Like, if I wanted to wait for something like the moon to travel over South America, then I could easily just ship it down there. I would imagine it's not going to survive that one. Did you know about 25% of Earth's population lives in South America? Yeah, me neither. So with the moon gone, is that going to affect the sun's orbit at all? No, of course not, because that would just make sense. <laughs> Instead, it's actually going to go for a bit of a vacation to Australia? Oh. I mean, let's be honest, Australia is used to dealing with the sun. Sweet Jesus, that was a big explosion. <laughs> All right, well, we're about halfway through wiping out humanity with just the southern hemisphere. All right, then. I just kind of wonder if I threw a moon like this, is it going to be flat? No, it's just a regular moon. It seems kind of bigger than the one that I threw. Oh, it's way bigger than the one that I shot. <laughs> uh, Can someone explain that one to me? See, now I really want my big moon to dock with the little moon, but I get the feeling it's just gonna get out of the way? Or not? Oh, yeah, the sun... That's what it was. It's very, very bright, but not damaging, unless I get a direct hit, maybe? Don't suppose I could just hurl a moon at you? Oh, I should have done it from this angle, come to think of it. Because then it would arrive a whole lot sooner. Oh, uh, hugs for everyone! Ooh! Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no, that, that wasn't working as intended. It's fine. Right in the center of the planet, too. I like that it scorches its way across the surface. Like, it actually is a hot close up, but not hot enough to really ruin a moon. Just 379 million people. I have spent way too much time trying to break this toddler level understanding of reality, but I gotta see if we can freeze the sun. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, just took it out in an instant. And it didn't even hurt the planet, really. 
<laughs> All right, yeah, just a bunch of stardust, like a cloud in the sky, and then everybody turns their heater up on bust, and we'll be fine. So that's two secret planets down and two more to go. You guys were telling me in the comments that I may have to punch the Earth to make something happen. Whatever that means. I mean, we do have the ability to punch. Like, if I got a whole bunch of ghosts to show up and just gangbang the planet, would that appease anybody? I could summon a whole bunch of them, a little something like this. Just let me know when. That enough? I'm just gonna keep going until there isn't much planet left. Oh, punched the Earth to bits, huh? I got an achievement out of it anyway. <laughs> did that unlock a planet, though? It sure did, kind of. This is called Ghost World, and it's weird, to say the least. <laughs> There's nobody living on it, it's completely transparent, and I'm gonna test it by throwing a rock at it. That's good science, trust me. We will know a whole lot from the impact of this rock. Oh. So it, it kind of looks like a gas planet, but it's not reforming. What if we throw a bigger rock at it? We'll keep the thesis running. I would imagine a moon will be able to teach us a whole bunch. I'm assuming those are moon bits that are flying off and not plasma bits. So again, it leaves a big chunk out of things, which we can see from many angles. <laughs> That's kind of cool, but it's not reforming. So is it Ghost World or Jello World? I guess we could always whip up a fresh batch and then have Cthulhu taste test it. What do you think, big guy? Ectoplasm or Jello? <laughs> One of the two, just dig deep and Pull a rock out. Don't know how we managed to do that. <laughs> Can I get an answer? No, I swear that guy is so rude. Wait, what if a ghost punches this? We have a ghost punch on the ghost world? Then, oh, we can actually get a good look at it this time because we can see through the planet. There we go, reaching real deep. That uh, didn't do a whole lot. Super weird. Oh, here we go. We've got some technology that I haven't used today, which would be very helpful in uncovering some secrets. Like if I put down a couple of these satellites, then they're just going to encircle and keep cutting deeper and deeper, and we'll see if there's anything at the center. I would imagine there isn't, because it's transparent, but it might be some kind of, like, cloaking device? You never know until you cut it clean in half. Actually, we could also try tunneling through the middle, and this will be a great test to see how bad this drill is, <laughs> because it never goes perfectly straight, and I just don't understand why. Look at it veer off to the left. Where are you going? <laughs> you failed the test right off the bat. That is super cool to see, though. He goes straight eventually, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for close enoughs here. Right out the other side. Huh. Alright, well, we've got ourselves a tunnel for what it's worth, and there does not seem to be anything in there. How are you guys doing? Still just slowly cutting away. Alright then. I should have known better than to have a satellite do my work for me. Can you maybe stop? Just, just stop. Go on. You're fired. You are super... Indestructible, I'm sorry, what? How is it these little tiny satellites are stronger than planets, stronger than suns? <laughs> All right, screw it, I, I guess I'll just do the work for you. Cut clean on through, there's nothing in here at all. It's just one giant ghost ball. Weird. Ooh, I wonder if I cut this in half, would I be able to get flat ghost world? Would that be another secret? Then again, I could try that with any planet. Right? Like if I made flat Jupiter or, or flat Saturn, then again, I'm pretty sure the flat Earthers, they don't actually exist. We gotta be real careful here though, because it's hard to tell how much damage you've done to this thing. There is no population, you can't scorch the planet, it doesn't react in any way. It's just a giant jello ball in space. It's exactly what you would expect of it. Or maybe it's actually liquid? Is that possible? 
Like somehow it's just all gravitationally pulled to itself. I don't know, either way, we've got a nice relatively flat bit. <laughs> Kind of, uh, just even it out over here, a touch. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? I'm all, all over the place there. Close enough, right? We're gonna go with close enough. It's very transparent. Actually, that's kind of spooky to be perfectly honest. But if I refresh, then we get around one again. All right, screw me, I guess no flat jello planet. Well, Cthulhu may have done a piss poor job eating this thing, but I would imagine the space worms will do quite a bit better. I can get space worms right there. We go. Okay. I want multiples. I want to see them just swinging around in there doing their thing It's kind of cool that we could see what happens to the inside of a planet. This is what I've been doing to planets the entire time <laughs> Just having them get burrowed out from the inside Ooh, I don't like it at all. Ooh, I wonder if I can fly around in these caves. No, that might be a little difficult, come to think of it, because it's hard to tell what's cave and what's solid planet. I would absolutely fly into a wall. I still suck at flying those things. Is there anything else here that would be interesting? Oh, okay, you guys made tunnels somewhere. What's a tunnel? Is this a tunnel? I guess we'll see if the ball falls down inside. Where did the ball go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it made its way to the center of the planet. Okay. <laughs> so if I do something like this, then I should be able to fill the center of the world with very high explosives. Every now and then when I'm doing something in this game, I'll catch myself, stop, and think, this is stupid. This is a mistake. <laughs> there is a distinct possibility that I could lose the entire recording when setting this off, but it'll be worth it. I don't even know if I can hit it very easily. Oh, blew off a chunk there. That's kind of cool. I uh, do that again, I wonder? I'm just trying to break my way down. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, I found it. Yup, there it is. <laughs> Maybe? Oh yeah. But it didn't break everything. I thought for sure we would take out the whole planet there. We gotta try the planet destroyer because that's literally all this thing does. It should just show up, detonate the core of the planet, and then leave. But if there is no core, then what's gonna happen? It's trying its best. And are we gonna see any change? The outsides are looking a little bit more ripply, maybe? Or is that just a placebo? I'm hearing something. I, oh, I was about to say, I don't think it's gonna pop. <laughs> Leaving me in anticipation. <laughs> and there you have it. So that's where space candy comes from. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Solar Smash, guys. I think there's one more secret planet that I really wanted to get to today, but it's apparently a big one. Not really sure what that means, but if it's as big as the new flat Earth, then I definitely wanna use it for another episode. So if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to blow up more ghost worlds again soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.